Quasi here, and in this video, we're going to explore happiness as not a choice. So happiness is not a choice. And this is gonna be a slight stock shift, actually, from the previous video, because in the previous video, we talked about happiness as a choice, but this time, happiness isn't a choice. And before we get into that, let's understand what people are trying to do every single day and why people are unhappy. So most people are trying to change this moment. And if we go back to concepts such as reality transurfing, we have this idea that there is a current script that's at play. And what you really must know is that there is no way to change this script. And most people are trying to change this current script because they're not happy with the reality they're in. So this is where unhappiness really comes from. Happiness, unhappiness comes from be, the fact that you're trying to get something and life isn't going your way. You're trying to play a particular script, but it's just not playing, it's a broken record. So this is why unhappiness comes. And most people are trying to change this script and I want you to know that it is not possible to change this script. There is no way that you can change this exact moment. So let's think about it this way, you know, if God were to come right now, do you think he would, she could change this moment? Like, would God be able to change this current moment? I want you to really think about this. Like maybe he could grant you another moment in the next moment. He could grant you something that you want in the next moment, but in this exact moment, there is no way he could change it. So not even God could change this moment. And this script is unchangeable by anyone. So nothing ever can change the script. And this script will always be the same. This moment will be exactly the same in this planet, in another galaxy, in another galaxy. Maybe, you know, the properties would be different. You know, maybe the quality of time would be different. Maybe time flows differently, but the static, this moment, this exact moment would always be the same. And with this in mind, we get to the concept of the inevitability of this current moment. And most people are trying to change this moment, but once you start to realize fully, like I want you to really start to realize fully that you cannot change this moment. And once you get into a realization that this moment cannot be changed no matter what, and then the struggle ends. Because most people are just fighting to change this moment. They're like trying to change it, they're trying to go somewhere, but you can't change this moment no matter what. It's futile. So if you get into full acceptance of this moment and that you can't really change it no matter what you do, then happiness is the only choice. Like that's it, there is no other choice. Like there's no other choice but to be in full acceptance and happiness. You just feel peace because now you know that there is no other way to change this moment. So this practice itself has been helping me a lot stay in the present moment. And you know, most people have this misconception about, you know, you should always be present. You should always be present to the moment. But this goes much deeper than that because I actually invite you not to be present. Like be in the past, be in the future. You can do that, but you can't do that. <laughs> you can do that in your mind, but you can't really be in the past. You can't really be in the future because there is only the present moment. So there is no other moment than the present moment. And this moment is inevitable and there is no way you can change it. So this realization that this moment is inevitable, the inevitability of this moment goes much deeper than just being present. Because you, know, you can think about the past, you can think about the future. And you know, this doesn't mean that you just always think about the present moment. No, 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 just think about this moment. No need to think about the future moment. No need to think, no need to think. It's just that you're doing this with the full consciousness and awareness of the inevitability of this moment. Because in the future, there could be a million possibilities. The past has already happened. This moment is inevitable. You can't change it. Million possibilities next moment. You can do whatever, anything can happen. Your hand can move here, your hand can move there, your hand can move here, there. You know, anything can happen. Some tornado could come in, you know, a million dollars could come into your door. But in this moment, nothing can change. And I just want you to get into the full realization of that. 
And only then will you realize that happiness isn't a choice. It's the only choice. Because there is only this moment. And once you get into full acceptance, only peace ensues. So basically, that's how you can understand and get into the full realization that happiness isn't a choice. It's the only choice. And if you want to think about it as a choice, then you can look at the previous video up here where you know, we talk about how you can consciously become happy. But if you want to become happy, you know, unconditionally happy, unconditionally accepting, then just get into the realization of this moment. And the exercise that's gonna help you do that is to constantly wake up at your trigger points. And if you don't know what a trigger point is, click up here. And what a trigger point is, is basically right now your attention is floundering between your outer screen and your inner screen. And this is a concept from Reality Transurfing and Tufty the Priestess in particular. So your attention is you know, out there or in here. You're either thinking about how you feel and how you, your thoughts, you're engaging with your thoughts or you're engaging with something out there. You're getting fully engaged with something out there. There's nothing wrong with that, but the foundation, the, the paper that contains the writing is missing and that's consciousness and that's your awareness and the inevitability of this moment. So do everything that you want in life, but just always remember the inevitability of this moment. And if you want to fully tap into that, just wake up at your trigger points and ask yourself the three questions, first of all, and if you don't know what the three questions are, click up here, and then get into the realization that I can't change this moment. Like this moment is just as it is. So just do this even with me right now. Just look around you. This moment is just as it is. Like there is no way to change it. And this just gives you a feeling of inner peace, like this deep feeling of peace. Like nothing can be changed right now. It is just as it is. And I want you to get into the habit of doing this at least 10 times every single day and hold it as long as you can. And only then will you start to get into, you know, the habit of waking up and realizing that this moment is inevitable. So yeah, thank you for watching this video and I sincerely hope this helped and I hope you'll try this exercise out and it'll benefit you as well. If you like this kind of content, let me know in the comment section below and please share it with a friend so they may benefit as well. And also, I'm growing a massive Facebook group where I'll be sharing this kind of stuff and I found that when I first started off with the Law of Attraction, I had no idea what the hell I was doing. So that's why I made this group so people starting off with the Law of Attraction, people wanting to diagnose their practices and become effective manifestors of their reality can interact with each other on a personal level and have a community to do so with. So click on the link below to sign up for the Facebook group and also, I'm excited to announce that since it's April, the Reality Mastery program is open for enrollment. And what the Reality Mastery program is, is basically an identity shifting program. And in this identity shifting program, we take you from the current version of yourself to the version of yourself that you need to be in order to manifest your goals. Because I found that the most profound level of change occurs at the becoming paradigm. And this is the most powerful paradigm of manifestation because most people are focused on having, 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 or doing, 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 but no one tells you how to be and how to become. And that's why I made this program. So if you're interested in the free consult, we'll be holding that and it'll be around 45 minutes. Click on the link in the description below. And what this free consult and what we'll do in this free consult is diagnose your current law of attraction practices and how you can implement identity shifting and basically become the most powerful manifesto of your reality. So if you're interested, click on the link in the description below and I hope I see you there. Till next time, peace.